Hello, welcome to part three of my Tamagotchi collection video series. Is it a series? Let's just call it a series. I plan to keep making these videos as long as my collection keeps growing. I love showing you guys what I have in my collection. A lot of you actually got really interested in this hobby after watching my previous two videos. Thank you for watching them, by the way. I just love talking about these toys with you guys because I don't think they're talked about enough. But before I start showing you all the cute things, I do want to address some questions that I kept getting after posting my previous two Tamagotchi videos so that you guys know the answer to them and you have all the resources you need. The first question that I keep getting almost on a daily basis is where do I get my Tamagotchis? I would say Japan you want is a really good place to start with. They are a Japanese store, of course, based in Japan and they stock a lot of Tamagotchis on their website. The sellers are able to communicate in English, which is very helpful for us overseas um, and for people who don't know Japanese. They mainly stock Japanese models though. So if you're looking for English Tamagotchis, Japan you want might not be the place you want to look at. Um, but with Japanese Tamagotchis, they do stock them quite a lot and they do update their store quite often. They're also quite transparent on their listings as to whether the toy is used or unused or unopened. So that is very helpful because a lot of these toys are vintage items. I've shopped from them for many, many years and their customer service has always been really good. They're also very friendly when it comes to um, issues with products. A lot of these toys are secondhand or vintage items, so they're bound to have issues once in a while and they're always super understanding about it and very helpful with the return process or compensation. So that's something I really appreciate when it comes to a store that sells vintage toys. So Japan you want, you guys should check it out. And other places to shop Tamagotchi from would be like eBay or any secondhand selling platform. Like I said before, a lot of these toys are vintage items, meaning they're no longer in production. So you really have to kind of wait for someone to put up a listing, especially if you are looking for a specific shell color or shell design, then you really have to hunt for it and just kind of camp on these secondhand selling websites every day just to see by chance if anyone puts up a listing. It can take years for you to find a particular shell design you want, especially if it's a rare or very popular shell design and that's completely normal. For instance, all the items that you see in my collection are accumulated over like eight years of collecting. So it's really kind of like a slow process of finding items you want. Don't be discouraged if you can't find what you want like instantly. Eventually someone will put it up for sale. And the last method that I use to obtain Tamagotchis is through trading and buying from other collector friends. I've been in this hobby for many, many years. So I do have a group of friends that I'm very, very close with. When they express interest in letting go of a certain item and I want that certain item, I would offer to trade or buy the item from them. This is actually my most preferred way of obtaining Tamagotchis because most of these collectors take care of their items really, really well. So yeah, that's how I get my Tamagotchis. I hope that is helpful to you and you're able to find your dream Tamagotchis soon. Another question I get a lot of is, will I sell my Tamagotchis or if I can give out my Tamagotchis? The answer is no. <laughs> I take my collection very, very seriously and I buy each and every item with my hard earned money. I plan to keep them for many, many years and play with them very slowly and have no intention of selling anything at the moment. I do appreciate that a lot of you have taken interest in these items and this hobby after watching my videos though, so thank you. But I'm not selling any items from my collection at the moment. I'm just here to show you what I have and to tell you more about each item. All right, I'm gonna start talking about my collection now. And these two soft toys are actually also addition to my collection. Apart from collecting just the gaming device itself, I also collect Tamagotchi merch. These are official Bandai released merch from many years ago. Um, I really like how he looks here. He looks like he's struggling. <laughs> and I also really like how the ball chain is a green color ball chain. Just these small details make me wanna buy these toys. And apparently this was from a claw machine back in the days, probably in the early 2000s. Was lucky enough to get these two from a Japanese seller. Let me go through the latest releases first. So I'm gonna start with these Tamagotchi smartwatches. They are one of Bandai's latest releases. I did an unboxing and kind of walkthrough video um, with the white watch, which was the Niju version. You can watch that video. I'll put the link in the description box. It's a very fun and interesting device. So these are the exact same devices, except in different colors. 
This one is the mint blue and this one is the coral pink. I haven't opened these ones yet, but plan to very, very soon. They are so cute. I really love the mint blue colored one. Along with all the smartwatches, I got all the existing Tama Smart cards. These are kind of like downloadable contents that you can download onto these watches. Each smart card has a different theme with different contents in it. I have also shown the whole downloading process in my walkthrough video. So again, link in description box if you want to see that. I really, really love these smart card packaging because they look like an actual egg. All of these smart cards have really, really adorable themes. This one is the gourmet theme and you are able to race these special characters if you have this smart card. And since the device is a watch, you also get downloadable watch faces that are only exclusive to this Tamagotchi smart card. And this one is the new pastel themed smart card. I really love all the characters on this card and you also get really adorable watch faces and new games, new items. Just amazing how many themes and designs they're able to come up with. This is the Cosmetic Friends version. I am a big fan of Makiko here and I just really like her eyes. They look so blinged out and so googly and was very happy to see that you could race her using this smart card. Would love to run this smart card on the coral pink watch. I think the theme of this card and also the watch faces that you get from it really matches like like the coral red watch band and just everything about this watch. This is the rainbow friends version. You get all these like cloud themed characters with a unicorn and also this adorable space galaxy themed background. This unicorn watch face, so cute. I'm also very excited about this one. This is the sweets friends version and you can race Ichikochi. She's so cute. She's like one of my favorite characters and you don't see her enough anymore. They kind of took her out of all the recent releases until until the Tamagotchi Smart came out. And also this jelly character, so cute. And the last one I have is the Melody Friends. This is like a music themed one. This one I'm personally not a huge fan of, like all the characters are not my favorite. I got it just to collect. The card design itself is really, really cute. I like the color. I've mentioned this in my um, Tamagotchi Smart unboxing video, but I'll say it again. These cards can only be used on three Tamagotchi Smart watches, meaning if you have four watches and you want to use the same card on four watches that's impossible you can only use it on three watches but if you have one watch and you want to download and undownload the content of a certain smart card you can do that unlimited times that's a feature that i'm not a very big fan of that is a shame i know some collectors buy two of each smart cards one to collect and one to play which i haven't done yet because that's a very expensive way to go about it but it is a way um, to keep one functional smart card forever to keep to collect and Anyway, let's move on. The next thing I have is this Tamagotchi Pix. This is an English Tamagotchi and one of the latest English releases. The box is actually a lot bigger than this. So there was like a huge bottom to it. I snapped it off because it's just way too big and not very collector friendly. <laughs> I don't have enough space for big boxes. I haven't opened it or played it yet. I'm personally not a huge fan of all the Tamagotchi Pix shells. So I got the green one because green is my favorite color. I'm very keen to try play this though because this is the first Tamagotchi that has a camera function to it. And also no physical buttons. They're all like touch sensitive buttons. I have heard that the battery life on these devices are pretty bad, but I shouldn't judge before I try it. And I'm keen to play it sometime. The next thing I have is this Tamagotchi Plus. It's called the Tamagotchi Plus because it's the Japanese version. There's an exact same version in English called the Tamagotchi version one. It's literally just called that. The content is fairly similar, but the packaging and the language is different. So this one I have here is the Japanese version. It's packed very interestingly because you can stand it up and it's clear on the top like an egg. It's super cute actually. And I just really like the shell color and shell design because it's like a little Tamagotchi character blowing bubbles all around it. And along with this, I also bought this um, Tamagotchi Plus in white. I think this one is called the Milky Hearts Shell. Very similar design except the bubbles that the character is blowing out are in heart shape. They are compatible so you can connect them. This version, the Tamagotchi Plus or the V1 version 1 is actually the first Tamagotchi that I ever had. So I'm very very familiar with the gameplay. I never got these shells as a kid and thought that these would be really cute 
cute additions to my collection. The next thing I want to show you is this strawberry yogurt tamakoshi keitai. In English, this is called the version 3, but this is a Japanese version, so it's called the keitai. It's got a strawberry and a spoon on it, and also a little strawberry here as like a tamagotchi. The keitai boxes, man, are so hard to open because it's very complicated, but they make it so you can always reseal it and it would always look brand new, which I can appreciate. I'm not going to try open it now because it literally takes a while to assemble everything back together. But yeah, very happy to have this in my collection. The next thing I want to show you is this Tamagotchi IDL in the color yellow. I got this one in box, but it has been used. If it's new in box, there's supposed to be like a colorful sticker that goes on the screen there. The device itself is in absolutely perfect condition and I thought the box was super cute. I do prefer getting things in boxes because it does add value to the item and also it just looks better. Even though I must say it's very hard to store with everything in packaging because they just take up so much space. I I have recently run the IDL with some collective friends recently though and I really enjoyed it. The only thing I didn't like about it was it didn't have kind of like a pause or daycare or like a babysitting function which a lot of other versions have meaning I had to take care of it the whole day which was a challenge. I ran it for a week and a bit and it died two times just because I'm just way too busy in the day but apart from that I really like all the special characters you can get on this version. The the shell itself is very cute as well. It's got like little stars on it, mimicking a gem. The next thing I have is this Tamagotchi ID in purple. This sticker here is what I was talking about when I was showing you my IDL. All the new inbox ID and IDL and plus color models should come with this colorful sticker if it's never been used before. This one has never been opened, never been used. I'm still looking for a green ID, but very happy to have this purple one. And I have the yellow one out of box as well. So right now I have three Tamagotchi IDs. The third one I'm going to show you now. Ta-da! This Tamagotchi ID is in the color Milky. There are two versions of the Milky IDs. One has the blue as the faceplate and pink on the body. The one I have here is pink as a faceplate and blue on the body. This shell is actually one of the most popular existing ID shells out there. So they're very, very hard to find at an affordable price. Sometimes I find completely beat up ones and they still sell for like 200 USD, which is crazy because the ID is actually not the most popular gameplay wise and the other colors can sell for as cheap as 50 to $60 sometimes out of box. So I have been looking for a reasonably priced Milky ID for a very, 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 very long time and managed to find this one for an affordable price, which I was very, very happy about. It's in really good condition. I'm just gonna put batteries in so I can show you how beautiful this is. And if you put it against the sun, you can kind of see that the whole shell is semi-translucent. You have no idea how happy I was when I bought this and found this. Oh, I think I got a boy. After seeing this in person, I'm quite determined to find one in box now. It's so much cuter and prettier in real life. I didn't realize how translucent and how like cute the colors would be because online it's very hard to show the real colors. But now that I've seen it in real life, I know I really, really love it. So hopefully one day I'll find one in box. The next thing I have is this Tamagotchi Plus color in the color sky blue or like light blue. I traded my min color one for this boxed one because I really wanted one in box. And this was in really, really good condition even though it's used. And I don't have any in box plus colors. So I thought this was a really nice addition to my collection. I really, really, really like the gameplay of the Tamagotchi Plus color. It's it's very, very simple, but all the animations are adorable. It's also very easy to run. It doesn't die very easily. And I also love how chunky the shell is. This is probably one of the most chunky and thick Tamagotchi um, to exist. So I really like it. It sits perfectly still on the table because it has a flat back and the screen is a little curvy as well. So it really looks like an egg. Next up, we have the Tamagotchus, which is one of the most unique Tamagotchis. There is no other models like it. The shell is unique and the gameplay is unique as well. This is a love themed Tamagotchi. So basically you raise a couple and the couple is supposed to go through a life cycle together, starting young and then meeting as they get older, getting married, 
and also growing old together. So it takes you through a relationship between two Tamagotchis. There are buttons on the side there. So what you do is you press the two Tamagotchis against each other and they will interact and you're able to unlock different animations as time goes by just press them together once in a while and you'll see them grow see them do things together sometimes they will even get mad at each other and not talk to each other it's very interesting i love the concept so much and there are i think five different shell designs for the tamagotchus this one was my favorite shell color because it's the moon and flower shell color i love that the screen is die cut into like a irregular shape. Just the attention to details when it came to designing um, these Tamagotchis. Absolutely amazing. I love it so much. I still haven't run it yet, but my friends thoroughly enjoy this. Um, it is so easy to run and it is so interesting to look at. And I was gifted this by a Tamagotchi collector friend, which I'm very grateful for because I never thought I would have this in my collection. Now me and all my collector friends have one set each and we plan to play it together sometime. Very excited. I'll keep you guys updated on how it goes. I usually post all my Tamagotchi updates on my Instagram story when I run them. Next thing I wanna show you is this Tamagotchi V5 or the Family Chi. This is an English version Tamagotchi and this one is used. As you can see, there are a few scuffs here and there, but it's in really, really, really good condition. It works perfectly fine. Um, I did play this a while back and it was so fun. I managed to raise Ichigochi. And what's interesting about the family Ichi is that you raise three characters at the same time as a family. And depending on how good or bad your care is towards your character, you raise different types of families. I always get the bad care families and they just all turn into like little ninja characters. And there are quite a few games on this as well. So it's very content rich. Any shell design that has the characters on it, I'm like, I think I need it. Next up, we have this Tamagotchi V4. This is an English version V4 and it's a translucent shell. So you can kind of see the inside of the Tamagotchi, which is very cool. I really love all the translucent shells. This is my first English um, version for Tamagotchi. So it was very eye-opening to, to run this and being able to understand all the dialogues between the characters. The shell is in really, really good condition. The pink is so adorable. I love it so much. Very happy to have this in my collection. Okay, we're down to the last four items. This one here is the Tamagotchi V5. Just like this one, it has the exact same gameplay except the shell color is different and this one is new in box and has the Bandai Tamagotchi Family Chi DVD in it. I absolutely love this shell so much because it has the entire Mamechi family featuring Chamamechi. She is one of my favorite characters but she doesn't appear enough on Tamagotchis and also on any of the Bandai merches. And there's a rainbow at the back and also their family pet. I think it's a dog. I don't think I'll ever open it because to open it, I'll have to cut this whole packaging open. It's sealed. I'm very happy that this is in my collection. I still can't believe it. And can we just appreciate how cute this device is? Next up, we have this Royal Beach Familichi, which in my opinion, is one of the most pretty Tamagotchi shells. This Tamagotchi is very rare um, because it's popular by demand. It has like a pearly iridescent shell. Even the back is like pearly. If you put it against the sun, you can kind of see the iridescent reflections. It's a bit purple and pink on the side there where the sunlight hits. And the gameplay is very, very similar to the Familichi, except it's royal themed. So it's like palace and royal themed. All the foods are like super luxurious. That's why the key also has like a crown on it because it's royal themed. This is probably one of the prettiest existing shells. I have never run this because I'm just so scared that I would scratch it or break it. I got this out of box. I would have wanted it in box, but um, this was in such great condition. I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna get it. And since this is so popular by demand, it's very, very hard to find. And even if you find it, they are easily over $500. I was able to get this for less than that, but it was still expensive. I think it's worth it though, because just looking at it makes me so happy. And I'm just so proud that this is part of my collection. Look at the little moon, it has a face on it. And just even the castle has a face on it. Don't think there is another Tamagotchi shell that is as amazing as this one. This one has never been played before. That's why this protective seal is still on the screen. Just looking at it again now, I'm just like, 
I'm in love. This is so pretty. All right, we are down to the second last item, which is another super rare item. This is the Tamagotchi Suku, which is also the Tamagotchi School. And this is the Chao version. This is Chao Chi. She is one of my favorite characters. I love this shell a lot because she's on it and she's not on any other Tamagotchi shells. This is the only shell that she is featured on the design. This item is really rare because back in the early 2000s, only 5,000 of these were produced. So it's a limited edition item and I believe you could only purchase this via lottery. So they randomly pick out people who could buy this. Let me know if this information is incorrect because I read this on a Japanese blog, but I'm pretty sure this is a limited edition item. I have not opened this yet. This is new in box. This Tamagotchi is very fun to play as well because um, you basically run a school. It is in Japanese though, and it is quite language heavy, but once you get used to it, um, you can read translated manuals online. And once you've played it enough, you kind of get what the buttons mean and what the buttons do. Another thing I love about it is the back of it is actually pink. I don't know why I find all the blue and pink themed Tamagotchis to be really, really cute. I didn't realize this until I was going through my collection. I was like, hey, I have a lot of same color themed Tamagotchis. But yeah, another thing I'm very proud to have in my collection right here. And the last thing I want to show you is the rarest of all, probably the rarest thing I have in my entire collection. And it is this Tamagotchi movie limited edition Famalichi. This Tamagotchi was released when the Tamagotchi movie came out in Japan. It says here that this is a cinema limited edition Tamagotchi. Only 100 of this was produced. And there's a white version which has exact same design but in white and pink. The white version only had 100 produced as well. So 200 in total, 100 of the blue and 100 of the white. I have the blue version here. Again, it's the pink and blue theme, which I really, really like. This shell says Mamechi and Chamamechi on it. There's a silver key to this Tamagotchi because in the movie, there's a silver key looking just like this one featured in the movie. And I really, really love that they incorporate this detail onto the actual Tamagotchi. The blue one, I believe from reading Japanese blogs, was available for purchase um, for the first 100 people that were lining up at the cinema who were interested in buying this Tamagotchi. And the white one was lottery based. So they drew out random um, buyers who were interested in buying it. And I now have two Tamagotchis with Shamamechi on the shell. I've wanted this for many, many years, but kind of never had it on my wish list because to me, it was just impossible to get, but I just managed to come across this listing. And since this is such a rare item, I just wanted to share this with you because not a lot of people get to see this um, in a video or like close up. This is probably one of the Tamagotchis that I'm most proud of owning. Even the packaging is so on point. They made it look like an actual house because it is the family chi where you raise a family. I hope you enjoyed this video and found some of the information useful. Sometimes it can be hard to find information or backstory about certain Tamagotchi models, especially when all the info is in Japanese. I'll do my best to tell you as much as I can about these toys. I hope you feel inspired to collect after seeing this video. Would love to see more people in the community. This is such a wonderful toy. It's so beautiful. Everything is so well made. The attention to detail is just, mm always surprises me. And yeah, having these toys in my collection makes me very, very happy. And I love sharing them with you. I love creating artwork inspired by these toys. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm gonna see you again sometime. Bye.